All right, we're back, y'all. Finally, top 10 players. Anthony Edwards. 10. Not mad at it. I love it. I love it. Right? I think we all love it. We love his charisma. We love his dog in him. We, we, just, we just know what kind of superstar he is. I mean, he's going to prove every year. And now that he got Julius Randle and, and Dante DiVincenzo on the team, Honestly, they was an even trade for Nets and T Wolves. He's gonna he's he's gonna improve even more, man. He might go for the MVP this year. Look out for that. Okay. I like Ant at ten. He's a top ten player already. Yes. I like that. Nine. Wow. Y'all tell me there's eight players better than Kevin Durant? Eight? 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 That's crazy. I mean, I can. He should have been at seven. Like, just like last year. Really higher. But, I understand the impact. He has. He really hasn't been much of an impact for Phoenix. I understand. I mean, if we if we base it on if we're gonna base it on everything, we got based on everything, right? Skill wise, he's top five. Okay, but impact, he hasn't been a great impact. Nine is kind of crazy though. Nine's kind of crazy. Let's we'll see. Who's... Hmm. And be that eight from three. I think MB had a better year than he did the year before. But obviously injuries, he still played through injuries. That's what he played through it. Okay, so, so they saying why he fell. I mean, yeah, but he's been injured. Let's be honest. MB really been injured every year. Like that's just been his Achilles heel is his, him staying healthy. Okay, um, all right. Who's gonna be at seven? <sighs> Don't y'all just love this wall, man? Don't y'all just love this? These three goats, you know what I'm saying? You know, rest in peace, you know, goat, goat, the real goat, but that's another discussion for another day, and you have that man at seven, I understand he's the oldest player in the league, okay, he has his son Bronny in the league with him, okay, just remarkable, right? Y'all are telling me after the performance we see in the Olympics, at the age of 86, y'all are telling me there's six players better than LeBron James right now. We're going to see. We're going to see. I mean, at least he's, at least they have him better than he was last year. They have a, They had him at nine last year. Which was insane, diabolical. But seven is still too low. Okay, I'm not going. I'm not overreacting. Like, like you know, what I'm saying because I, I just don't think he's. I think he's still top five. In my opinion. I think, and if I'm saying top five, I'll say I will put my five. I don't. Just say. Being realistic, I don't think he's the best player in the league anymore. But seven is crazy. Curry at six is crazy too, right? And Curry had an amazing Olympic year. That's why I say he had amazing Olympics. That's why I said Curry at six is still crazy. I think Curry should be higher. Okay, LeBron and Curry should be neck and neck, but higher than seven and six. Like it should be like five or four. Okay, 
Five be- players better than Steph Curry. Let's see. telling me that a man, yes, he won the championship. A man that they even play a single minute in the Olympics is better than LeBron and Steph Curry. A man that even win the finals MVP is better than LeBron and Steph Curry. Y'all are ESPN. Y'all do it every year, man. Y'all do it every year. I tell you. I tell you. Y'all can have it, though. I'm sick of this BS right here. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of y'all. Y'all are g- Hop off it. Hop off. Hop off it. Look, like, does it taste good? Look. Like, Bro, the glaze needs to stop. It needs to stop. There's no way you have Shea better than Kevin Durant, Joel B, Steph Curry, LeBron. Those four players you have Shea better than. Tatum is is up in air. I might cho- I'm still probably choosing Tatum over Shea. Don't get a messed up. I love Shay. Shay. I don't think he's a top five player. I don't care how many points he averaged, man. I don't care. If we're talking about overall best players in the league, we got to talk about everything overall impact on the game with the skill sets. Steph has no better imp- nobody has a better impact in this top ten list probably than Steph and LeBron. No but no two players, those two players right there. And Jokic. Giannis to a lesser degree. But come on, bro. Shea is not better than Le- Steph, LeBron, Joel B or Kevin Durant. Come on, man. I need to stop overrating him, bro. It's crazy. I don't care if he's top. Like, he emerged as an MVP candidate. He even win the MVP. He didn't even win it. They gave it to Jokic again. <sighs> I mean, when healthy, I mean, like I said, he was injured still. In the playoffs, he got he, when he gets to the playoffs, he got to stay healthy. Okay, he was the number one player last year. Um, it's probably getting bounced out of the first round last year too, the year before that. I'm not mad at Giannis at three. Okay, again, if we talk about everything, you got to talk about impact. He, he's a huge impact for the team. Okay, so not mad at that. It proved it, really proved it in the playoffs. If I'm telling you, if he was healthy for that Indiana series, they would have easily, they would have beat Indiana probably in six. They would have beat Indiana in six games. See, Indiana beat them in six games. They would have beat them in six games. Luca at two, I like it. I like it. Yeah, got him to the finals, right? I mean. Do we have to say anything else about Luka? Like, yes. He has to improve on being more of a, like, leader in a team. What I mean about it is he needs to stop complaining. I see too many times him complaining about fouls and complaining about the refs caught, like, 
He needs to stop complaining. I mean, he needs to work on that. Obviously, his defense definitely improved, actually. His defense has improved a lot. Um, he needs to work on his turnovers a little bit. But he needs to stop complaining. He stopped complaining and be more about the team and be more accountable. Luca will get a championship. Okay. But he he's Luca Doncic, okay? I'm not mad at him being number two. We know who number one is. Jokic. Okay. Which I'm not mad at that. Okay. Overall, this list is still trash. <laughs> Is it better than last year? I believe so. I believe it's a little better. Again, y'all need to stop glazing Shay, but it's slightly, slightly better than last year. But it's still ESPN. Y'all still need to stop making these lists. I mean, like y'all just don't know basketball at this point. Like y'all try. That's all I gotta say, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, give it a boy like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Stay tuned for more content for this channel. I got so much in, in tune. So much. I appreciate y'all still rocking with me, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Be a boy, Will, and I'm out.